Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today, I want to talk about uh, measuring the ratio of balance, ununs, and things like that. Uh, is there some way that you can take an unknown balun and uh, measure the ratio that it is? Now, this right here is marked as a four to one balun. Now, what we're going to do is put a dummy load on it. This is a 220 ohm resistor. Okay, so if this is 50 ohms, uh, reading 220 ohms, it should actually read here a little differently. We're going to treat it just like an antenna. This being our dummy load, we don't need anything bigger than that. So we'll turn this on and we'll come up. Um, Let's see, this is measuring 55. 55 times 4 is uh, 220. So that is the what we would expect to measure there. Now, note here that there is a reactive component. And as we tune up across the band, the um, resistance goes up a little bit. And we get up here um, and we still have a little bit of reactance that is why that is the reason for that is because inside this is an auto transformer and an auto transformer has um, quite a reactive component to it now let's take this I was asked uh, by one of the readers what the ratio was on the uh, Chameleon CHH Skyloop uh, CHA Skyloop 2.0. Okay, I opened it up and found this inside. Here's the feed down here. Here's the output up here. Uh, this is marked on their paper as being an unun. It's not. It's a balun uh, because you'd put in. Uh, just plain uh, uh, unbalanced here, and you'll get a balanced output here for the loop antenna. And I was curious what this ratio was, so we're going to use a very similar technique. We're just going to use our 220 ohm resistor, okay, and we'll put this in here okay now you're asking why am I making these measurements this way the answer is I want to make them at RF these are RF transformers they don't work real well at 60 ohms or 60 Hertz or anything like that so I'm just gonna clip this on there now, does the matter? Does it matter that I'm using clip leads? No, it does not, because these are such a small fraction of the wavelength. It's not going to matter. But it's 220 ohm camera. So, what have we got here? Uh, let's go down in low. We've got about 114 ohms. Okay, as we go up, not the X is zero. I find that really interesting. This is a a nicely uh, balanced balun, 125 okay it goes up a little bit there when you get to the higher frequencies but it's about a hundred and let's say 120 okay 120 or down if you get down in let's go down into the uh, low low bend here 115 okay to a 220 it's in the neighborhood of two to one. Okay, now I want to take a look at this balun for just a moment. This is actually wired as a current balun. Okay, and if you look here, if this is the zero point where it's fed, then this is 20% of the way around 40, 60, 80, back to 100. Okay. The tap point is here, not here. The tap point is at the 40% point. 
which I believe is the reason we're getting uh, not exactly a two to one ratio. If you wanted to tap this at the two to one point, it would be tapped down here. So that's why we're getting the uh, slight difference there. So this is measuring as a two to one ballon. Uh, it is in the uh, literature from um, chameleon antennas, it's a two and a half to one. Uh, let's take a, a look at their, their frequency. Here is a picture of it over here on the screen. And this is the part coming in here. This is the part going out here. It says un un. It's actually an un to bal, un baller, ballon. Uh, 2.25 to 1, it says. Okay, now we saw a little closer to 2 to 1, which is not terribly far out. If we look at some of the other, uh, or at the other picture the manufacturer sent me, here is the, um, we've got a complete transformer, complete transformer winding, okay? Now, this one out here, there's actually more turns on this side by about double, okay? And they're on a common core. Note that they're t connected at the top. The two windings are connected at the top. Well, you would say, my goodness, that must mean a dead short. Well, it's not a dead short because it's broken in the middle for the antenna. The idea being that the amount of current flowing out and the amount of current flowing in have got to be equal because it's a break spot in a transformer winding, okay? So you're gonna get equal currents in and out. So this is a current ballon and now you can't count these turns there's about twice as many here as here. So you get a, a two to one ratio, well, not quite that. They, they work it out so they get 125 ohm. Now I measured two to one, which would be about 100 ohms. And the reason is because this goes to a loop antenna, their assertion is that the uh, loop antenna is closer to 200 rather than 400 ohms, which is why we have the uh, uh, ballon the way we do. So the point of this is that you can use an antenna analyzer like the MFJ uh, 259B I have. They're up to the D model now. The D model also covers the new really low bands. Okay, The C model instead of all of the low bands also covers UHF a little bit. Okay. And we can use this to measure what a ballon is doing. We put a known resistance at the end, and you can try this if you want with several different resistances. But the ratio of this to 50 ohms, which is this, will give you the ratio of the ballon. For example, 50 to 200 on the four to one, okay? It's a four to one ballon. Here we have um, around two to one on this. Now I say around because the design spec is for um, two point, uh, it says here 2.25 to one. Uh, I get around two with that. Again, amateur radio test equipment is not the uh, world's most accurate, but I really do like this way, you can determine what an unknown ballon is by putting a known resistor across the output, measuring the input impedance with an antenna analyzer. You'll probably want to do this at multiple frequencies. And then you can determine the ratio. If it says 50 ohms here and 200 ohms here, you got a four to one. This one right here, we had 220 and we measured about 110 uh, ohms, give or take, uh, on, on this side. So that gives you the ratio. Now remember that the impedance ratio is the turns ratio squared, okay? So it just helps you understand a little bit more 
about the ballon and how to characterize it. Now that's going to work on any kind of ballon. Um, in this case, we're looking at a current ballon here, and this is a voltage ballon here. The current ballon, apparently all the reactive effects are canceled because I don't see any reactive effects across the whole HF band in this one. I do see a lot of reactive effects in here. Uh, this is a actually an auto transformer that's used as a 4 to 1 ballon. So there you have it. It is possible to take an unknown ballon and measure the uh, uh, impedance ratio between the uh, two sides. Assuming that one is 50 ohms with this is 50 ohms coming out of here, 50 ohms here, then the output is going to be the ratio of the ballon uh, to the resistor, whatever resistor you pick. Now I would recommend that you use a good meter, like this one. This is a good meter. Uh, you could use your little Harbor Freight meter here too. It will probably work close enough. But actually measure the value of the resistance. Um, because resistors, although they have color codes on them, um, the value can be a little bit different from that. And so this way you have the ability to be really sure what's going on. And we are making the assumption that the output is 50 ohms, okay? Which it would have to be because that's how this antenna analyzer measures things, okay? If you'd like to contribute to this channel financially, I encourage you to do so. Go to decastlercom slash support. Pick a method that works for you. And until we next meet, 73.